Yo, what's good? Welcome to Cine 230 Remix Cultures. My name is Andre, aka DJ Food Stamp. I'm going to be your amazing instructor for this term. I'm broadcasting to you live, not really live, but directly from Goat Spirit Homestead, which is my beautiful 12 acre homestead farm right outside of the city limits of Eugene. I'm chilling here, social distancing like a motherfucker. It's so weird to be here and teaching like this. But this is how we're gonna roll all term long. Try to make it as good as possible for y'all. Hopefully y'all get something out of this. Um, you know, but y'all gotta bear with me on everything. Um, and I'm gonna teach from my tractor for a little bit. Um, other places on the property or whatever. Um, and basically, you know, just, you know, again, be patient um, with your boy over here because me and everybody else are kind of figuring this out as we go. Um, but basically, the, the general setup for this class is obviously I'm going to rock through Canvas a lot. Um, there's also a website, www.remixcultures.wordpress.com, which is going to um, mirror the WordPress, and I mean, uh, mirror the Canvas, and the Canvas actually, in fact, mirrors the WordPress before. So basically the way that I'm going to teach this is I'm going to upload videos uh, and produce modules uh, for each week, for each, um, each lecture. And you can basically do each class topic on your own time um, when, when, you, when you want uh, to do them. Okay, um, so you can see, you know, everything, um, you know, if you go to the website, you can see on the pages, you know, um, assignments, um, PowerPoints under the points of power, all that, which is the exact same, say, uh, same as you'll see on the uh, Canvas site um, where I have the, the pages are exactly the same. So, it, you know, take some time, explore the Canvas, figure things out, um, get around there. You know, shoot me an email if you need to shoot me an email where you have questions about the class. Um, and I'll try to clarify in video too, just so everybody can see it. And uh, before each class, I'll do a short video like this where I, you know, address things, do a little housekeeping, um, all that stuff. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, here we are. Um, this is it. You're in class right now. It's crazy. Syllabus day on my tractor. Who would ever thought? Um, not me at all, or any of us, but I hope you all doing good, staying safe out there. Now, basically, I'm going to take you a bit through the class, um, you know, to kind of take you through what we're going to do this term, um, but I also know you can read, so I really encourage you to read the syllabus. You can read basically everything. Just note some things that may be wrong, like where are classes? Hey, Class is on this beautiful hillside property here for me and not in some, you know, room without windows in Lawrence Hall or some basement in Fenton or, or whatever, wherever. Um, you know, one thing to say is, um, you know, so all this stuff is going to be broadcast to you, um, you know, real remotely, meaning um, I'm out here outside city limits. I don't have high-speed internet. I have satellite internet, so if any of y'all know how that works, it doesn't work. Uh, very good. I stream two seasons or bi two binge watches on Netflix, and they shrink down my pipes, and basically I can't see a damn thing. Uh, I mean, I can't upload anything. I can't see anything after that. Like, it just, they shrink the pipes down, so I have to go to campus um, uh, and upload stuff, so I'm not going to be doing any, any you know, zooming or uh, any, you know, anything like that. So um, just to give you a sense. For office hours, listen, what the hell am I going to do? Um, my phone number is on the syllabus. Call me, text me, FaceTime me, all right? Um, and, you know, I'll get back to you, you know, or we'll chat then, you know, I, I don't, I want it to be as convenient as possible for you because guess what? Like, I ain't got shit to do for months, you know, other than this class. So, like, holding office hours or, like, holding time on Zoom or, like, a whatever, like, I ain't doing that. It's hailing here. It's crazy. Um, 
I ain't doing that. Uh, so, um, you know, just call me. My phone number's on, on, on there. You know what, you know, you know, that's one way to reach me. Um, anyways, so, um, you got my email. My office hours are whenever, okay? Um, you can read the catalog description. It is hailing crazy, yo. Anyways. Uh, you can read the course description, but this class is really a class about ideas. Um, we're going to explore the nature of creativity. We're going to explore what it means to be original. We're going to explore how intellectual property laws work. Um, how they work for you, how they work against you, who they work for and how. Um, and we'll explore remixing sort of broadly. So we're not going to spend all term looking at like music sampling or Star Trek or Star Wars fan culture. We're going to look at, you know, that stuff, video game modding, all that stuff, but we're going to look at like the legal implication, implications of that. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm just scrolling through this joint. You can read about the expected learning outcomes. You can read real course description, you know. Um, but I really want to stress to you that this is real important. Like, this is not a law class, it's a legal culture class, right? Um, so don't take the information in this class, or the class, class content, as legal advice. Um, you know, because if you do get sued, you do something, or you do go to court or whatever, like, I don't want you to be like, yo, Andre told me, Andre told me this. <laughs> you know, like, he said this, you know, so just, Bear that in mind, this is not like a, a law class, and bear that in mind just in general, it's a legal culture class. So we're going to look at, you know, how culture, um, you know, interacts, like society interacts with law, how law interacts with society, how law is based on legal culture, um, how that's influenced by corporate culture, all that stuff. Basically for this class, yo, you got to read stuff, watch stuff, look at stuff, listen to stuff. Um, and that's going to kind of be the jam. And we have three tests. Bam, that's it. Three tests that you take on Canvas. That's pretty much it. And everything that you're going to be tested on is stuff that I talk about, that I speak out of this mouth to this camera to you. Okay? Um, that's it. That's, that's the jam a -lamb, you know. Um, so there's three tests. Um, they're each worth 33.33333% 33 of your final grade. Um, you have to take them during the class time, which is uh, 10 to 11.50 on the day of the exam. I think they're mostly Mondays um, or whatever. So you do have to be present at a computer or at your phone at that time. You'll get one attempt um, to do them, okay? Um, and each exam is uh, multiple choice, true, false. Sweet. Um, and there's always 15 or more bonus questions, one point bonus questions. So um, that's pretty dope. You know, I give you a, a, little, a little love there, okay? Um, uh, a couple important things. I do not give A pluses. Why? They don't exist. They do not exist on a 4.0 scale. It's like rewarding you um, with a gold sticker for not, you know, peeing in your pants. Um, it's just silly. Um, I do not give A pluses. Just whatever. Okay, they don't exist. I know I'm, I'm destroying some of your hopes and dreams and maybe self confidence right now. But you know what? They don't exist on a 4.0 scale. Um, so sorry for everybody whose GPA is going to go down to a 4.27. Whatever. Um, but an A is a great grade. Very great grade. Um, which I hope you all get. The other thing is I don't give hundreds on exams. I only give up to a 99, except for on the final exam. I give some love there. Um, the reason why is this. Yo, I give you 15 bonus questions. Like, you don't deserve 100 or 115 or 104 points, but I will give you a 100 uh, if you get every question on the test right. And that's happened once in like five years, so good luck, okay? Um, it says on the, 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 uh, the syllabus under Canvas that I don't use Canvas because I hate it. That's the truth. But I got to use it right now. It's what's happening. All right. Um, yeah. 
so you got three tests. That's pretty much it. You can see the dates um, when they are. You can see what we're going to cover on each uh, exam. If you look at the points of power on the website or on Canvas, um, the points of power or PowerPoints are organized under um, uh, each exam. So you can see what will, what will be on each exam uh, as, as well. And yo, this is mad important. Uh, the points of power, the PowerPoints, I make them for me. They're like my notes to, to like talk from, okay? Um, so like you really, I know this is hard. You've probably already tuned the hell out. Um, but you know, you really want to watch these videos of me babbling because I fill in a lot of the blanks. I give a lot of examples, stuff that will be on the test. Okay, um, there's a lot of stuff in the slides that is actually just inf information for you if, if, if you want it. Okay, so you don't need to know everything in the slides. So that's why it's real important. Um, I give you study guides too um, for the tests so you can, you can look at those. And I also make those um, into Google Docs so you can collectively, as a group of people, you know, fire them up, you know, and, and, and fill, fill in the blanks there. Um, there's two bonus opportunities, um, and you can see full uh, descriptions of those on the assignment page on the website or on Canvas, and basically you can earn up to five points on your final grade um, by doing one of two things, uh, either doing a critical remix project, so sort of like a culture jamming, subvertisement, you know, where you like take a logo and you flip it to critique the brand, or you, you know, you make a parody of a celebrity, or, or something, you know, something like that. It could be video, it could be 2D, it could be 3D, um, whatever. Um, and then you write a short, like one to two page uh, analysis of it. It can get you up to five points on your final grade. The other option is to do a short, and I stress short, um, four to six page sort of what did I learn this term, choosing like a topic from class and, and writing about it using, you know, citing sources and stuff from the class itself. So it's not a research paper. So that's all in the syllabus. It's all on the canvas. You can download the assignment descriptions and, and get all that stuff. You with me? All right, attendance, it's required, it's mandatory. Fuck that shit, right? You're at home or wherever you are. Probably not in Eugene. I don't know where y'all at, but you're somewhere. The required text for the book, uh, the required text for the class. Um, yo, check it. They are all Creative Commons licensed books. Everything for this class is online anyways. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to pay for anything. Um, it's all, all there. So if you go under required texts on the um, syllabus, there's actually download links to these books, which is dope. But you'll find all of the materials that you need to review before class on the things to do before class page on the Canvas or website. I'll upload uh, Prior to the, you know, each week, I'll upload things you should consume, videos to watch, podcasts to listen to, um, chapters to read, content to, you know, consume, essentially, before you get into a module um, where you're watching videos of me babbling like I'm doing now. Are you sleeping yet? Because I am. Um, anyways. Um, but yeah, things to do before class. It's so fucking simple. It makes total sense. Things to do before class. It's very patently obvious, okay? Uh, you look, there's a tentative schedule on here, whatever. Um, just kind of like, you know, note that this is made for like an analog in-person teaching, not for this uh, me talking to a camera uh, crap during, you know, the, the, the toilet paper apocalypse that's upon us. Um, doo -doo -doo, just scrambling down here, but you can see all the topics that we're going to be checking out in this in this class. Okay, uh, course policies. Put your phones away. I mean, what? does it does it matter? I mean, when does class start? It doesn't matter, but you know, um, don't cheat. I don't know how you would cheat. I guess like open books on the test, but like yo, whatever. I'm not watching. Who's you know whatever. No one's watching, but. Um, you know, you can use your notes or whatever, I guess. Um, Big Brother is watching, though. Watching. Okay. Um, yo, if you have special needs, um, 
you know, hit me up, like AEC accommodations or anything like that. I have dyslexia and ADHD, as maybe you can tell <laughs> through my talking in this video, but I'm happy to accommodate um, everybody. So um, do let me know on that. There's also a bunch of resources for y'all, um, you know, for affirmative action and, you know, uh, consulting in the testing center. I don't know how much that matters if you're not in Eugene or you're not on campus. Um, you know, you're, you're tucked away in a bungalow somewhere, your parents won't let you come back, or you don't want to come back, or whatever, um, you know, uh, yeah, so, why I'm in this damn barn, well, I love it in here, it's my wood shop, I'll, I'll take you on a virtual tour of it someday, um, I'll, I'll do lectures from other places, you know, talk from other places, but I got a little two and a half year old, you know, it's really hard for me to do shit with him around, um, you know, or without him like running, jumping on my lap, slapping me around, you know, peeing on me, all that stuff. So I'm trying to like get away from that. Um, my wife is also home now because her dance, dance school is shut down. So, you know, we're, we're around. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that. That's the jam. I mean, I think I went over everything. I think we should be pretty good. Um, and I want you to just check the next video um, of me talking about something. We're gonna watch a film, okay? So day one of class, we're gonna watch a film called Everything is a Remix. I'm gonna preface that in a few minutes here, okay? But take a break, go for a walk, you know, take a nap, have a shot of whiskey, drink some water, you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, take a shower, whatever you gotta do, relax for a minute, okay? Uh, come back, I'll do a little video. Um, uh, for you to watch that will sort of preface the film and that will get us through the first day of remote learning. It's awesome, right? Thank you for tuning in. This is the real Dr. Dre, DJ Food Stamp. You know what I'm saying? Andre. I'm out.